Hey folks, today we have a complete Black Friday sports tech deals list. Now, no like fluff on this list. I'm gonna go through all the deals and I'm gonna talk what's good and what's not so good, the things to skip and the things to like jump on right away. And in particular, I've got a huge written list up in the corner right there. I update that like every 15 to 20 minutes throughout the day. It's constant with all the best deals because deals are constantly changing. That's just kind of the reality of the situation. And you can use a YouTube chapters law on the bottom right there. And in case you're wondering why I have this giant pile of 30 watches right there uh, we just filmed last night the sports annual sports watch yeah. year in review you me and a uh, des fit so be on the lookout for that on his channel it's usually like an hour and a half long it's awesome anyways with that let's just dive right into it on the wearables front uh, both wearables on the wrist as well as wearables like on your head and other areas uh, the very first deal it's worthwhile noting is the apple airpods 79 dollars uh, that's like an incredible deal it's a, you know not the newest airpods but still it's an awesome deal. Then you got the AirPods Pro at $199, uh, pretty solid as well. Uh, and then down there, you got the Apple Watch SE at $229. This just came out and it's normally $249. My review on that should drop like in the next 24 hours or so. It's essentially done minus a thumbnail and a few little things, but uh, I am really impressed with this watch right here. You can see it's even still on, just took it off my wrist. Uh, it's a solid watch. I've been using it for a number of months now. And for $249 with all the new sports features, that's a really good deal as is the Apple Watch Series 8 at 349. The first time we've seen the uh, Apple Watch Ultra right here on sale at uh, 739, not a huge amount off, you know, like 60 bucks or so, but uh, again, this is the watch that you're basically buying for the future. I mean, yes, there's a lot of sports features now, but there are new sports features coming up very soon. For example, the uh, pacer and track mode are things that just hit beta in the last few days, and that'll be out soon in production. And I think you're really gonna pay for the future there. Now, is it all of the navigation, all those features that you would find from a Garmin or a Sunto or a Polar Chorus or whatever type watch? No, absolutely not. Uh, but of course, it's inversely a much better general smartwatch. And you kind of kind of balance those things. So then we got the Powerbeats Pro. I actually use these all the time on the train over there. And I also use the Beat Studio Buds for 99 bucks. Uh, these are like my go-to pretty much across the board of what I put on my ears almost all the time. Uh, right now, they're charging right in front of you, right under the camera, like one foot right there. Uh, and that's kind of my like go-to across the board. I know there's newer models, but honestly, I just like these. They're small and they work fine for me. Uh, the Inspire 3, though, this is an incredible deal at 69 bucks. This just came out as well this past fall, uh, and I would argue it's the best Fitbit to date. Not the most featured, but like the best bang for your buck. I mean, this thing is normally 100 bucks, and 100 bucks it was a steal, uh, and now at $69, like, uh, they're almost paying you to take it. Uh, and what's notable about this is there's a lot of discussion around the subscription side of it. So I did my entire review without the subscription, just straight up using the device as is with no extra features. Uh, and what you'll find is that the extra features you're paying for are mostly things that you wouldn't get from other companies anyways. And so in this case, um, I don't recommend buying the subscription. I don't think it's really worth it in the grand scheme of things. And that's how I configure this particular unit. Uh, now there is the Fitbit Sense 2 at 199. Don't do it, don't do it. Um, yeah, it's not good. It's it's a horrendous product. You go from basically Fitbit's best product, uh, the Inspire 3, to arguably their worst product ever. And just a quick note, if you are finding this interesting or useful, just whack that like button down at the bottom there, or subscribe or something like that. Uh, it really does help with this video and the channel quite a bit. Uh, Garmin Bounce Activity Tracker. This is brand new just a week ago, and it's already on sale for only 10 bucks off, but hey. Um, so this is their Kids LTE Activity Tracker. Uh, I've been using this now for like three weeks, I think. Uh, a couple of them, in fact, both of my daughters uh, have them on their uh, wrists, and I've been using it as well on some trips and stuff like that. Uh, and so it's a standard kids activity tracker, but it's also an LTE tracker. Uh, and so Garmin's been making kids activity trackers for a long time. And this will show you where the location is and also like has geofence boundaries. So as you leave school or home or whatever, uh, it'll trigger alerts and send it to you. Uh, it's super cool. There's a subscription cost with that, of course, but um, I think it's reasonable in the grand scheme of things. Uh, now, this is an amazing deal, the Enduro 2 at 200 bucks off, uh, down to $900. Uh, I use this this past summer. It's somewhere in this pile, in the bottom of the pile, I think. Uh, oh, there it is right there. Uh, so the Enduro 2 has really good battery life. It is essentially a Phoenix 7X Plus, if that makes sense. So you got 
all the features of a Phoenix 7X, unlike the original Enduro series, which removed a bunch of features, but you've got extra battery life, you've got a better flashlight on there. Um, it's cool, it's a, it's a good little watch, and at that price point, it's essentially cheaper than the Phoenix 7Xs. So, you know, think about that. Uh, Garmin Epix Gen 2, uh, these are 100 bucks off, though I've seen the Sapphire ones, uh, sorry, the Titanium Sapphire one down to 130 bucks off. So just keep that in mind. The Sapphire Edition essentially has a multi-band GPS, uh, and it also has extra storage. Um, I would go for the Sapphire if you can make it work, but I wouldn't fret about it. And this is true of the Phoenix 7s as well, uh, in that in my testing, Garmin's non-multi-band chipset in their all systems mode is almost as good as their multi-band one. There's not a huge disparity like there was in the past. So uh, I would not fret too much about that, but if you can find it for the Sapphire, the multi-band one, then, then go for it. So, Going on down here, there is some amazing Phoenix 6 deals. It's just, it's incredible because you look at these prices and you're like, oh, that's last generation, and that's true. But well, one, they're still getting firmware updates, including just last week. Uh, but two, most notably, you're talking 380 bucks, 370 bucks, give or take, for the Phoenix 6 Pro units. Like, Pro Solar, mind you, by the way, in this case. Uh, and those, the functionality on those, realistically, blows away all their competitors' brand new units. Like there's no comparison, just like there wasn't a comparison. You know, if we fast forwarded to, or rewind, I'm sorry, to a year ago, prior to the Phoenix 7 coming out, every single reviewer out there would have said the same thing, which is that, you know, blah, competitor doesn't really compete with the Phoenix series lineup. Uh, and that's still true today, just be really clear about that. Uh, and now you look at like 382 for this. I mean, just think about what you pay for the Coros Vertex 2 at 600 bucks. I mean, come on, that, that's an insane deal in that sense. Um, no Coros steals at all, by the way, for Black Friday. They, they're not doing the Black Friday thing. That's cool, some companies do it, some companies don't. Uh, but I think this is a good scenario where you kind of have to play in this, this ballpark in order to compete. Uh, these prices are just absolutely insane. Moving on down though, Phoenix 7 models. Uh, so a 599 is like, they're, they're 100 bucks off across the board, so 599 is kind of the starting point there, and you go up from there. But there's different deals that keep popping up from Uncle Amazon. So one of the things to understand about sale deals in the US, and this is probably really notable for Europeans as well that are kind of confused by this whole thing. Uh, so in the US, there's something called MAP, Minimum Advertised Price. And that basically means that companies like Garmin and GoPro and whoever else uh, set the price for these products. And that's the price that the retailers have to abide by. Now, it's not a legal thing, it's a contractual thing. So if they go ahead and they do a price underneath that, then they get their product access turned off. So if you know Amazon or Best Buy sells it for 200 bucks off instead of 100 bucks off, then Garmin or GoPro comes along and says, ah, you don't get any more Phoenixes for the next six months. And it's literally six months, even if they're one penny under. So with that in mind, all these prices are kind of standardized, except for Amazon. Amazon is big enough that they look at that six month period and they go, you know what? We can just buy enough units for that entire period. We can buy enough units to last us six months. So we're gonna drop the price for Black Friday to be that 200 bucks off as opposed to 100 bucks off. And we've seen exactly that. Here is the Garmin Phoenix 7 Solar Sapphire at 250 bucks off. Again, way below the authorized price, but they've just bought enough of these units that they know they can take the six month ban for that one SKU and then come back up sometime in you know May or so, and they've bought however many tens of thousands of units they need to get through that. Uh, so that's an incredible deal right there. Uh, you also see the 7X Solar Sapphire at 150 bucks off. Uh, not bad if you're in that market. Uh, and then we get to the Instinct 2 series that came out earlier this year at 100 bucks off. And again, there are cases here where we're seeing these pop up cheaper than that, but 250 is kind of the, the standard I've seen across the board for that. Uh, and then we saw just last night they add the Venue 2 Plus uh, to being 100 bucks off as well. So it was just the original Venue 2, and now the Venue 2 Plus, which has a speaker and the microphone in it. And the Google Pixel Watch, which just came out again, like what, not even four weeks ago, I think, something like that, uh, is at 299. And that's a pretty solid little watch. Uh, you got the Polar Grid X, 17% off, meh, so so sale. Uh, the Polar H10 chest strap. So right here, I've listed $84. Uh, not that much off, it's like five bucks off. However, last night I saw Uncle Amazon get to work and he put it at a 50 bucks uh, for like a few hours. So keep an eye on that one there because that's a great chest strap that I use as well. Like the HRM Pro from Garmin, Pro Plus from Garmin and the Polar H10 are my go-to straps for reference for all of like my accuracy stuff. And so uh, the Pacer Pro though, this deal is solid at 219, not $19, 219. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, and that's something that, you know, just came out this past spring, late spring, uh, and good to see that 80 bucks off. Uh, and then the Cinto 5 Peak. 
This deal here isn't that great on the US side, but the European side is fantastic, and we'll talk about that in a second. So, some smart trainer bits here. Uh, most of these are pretty much what we've seen for a while. So, uh, you know, smart trainers obviously peaked during COVID, and then they have all this inventory, and companies are basically trying to get rid of it. Uh, so, like, these deals from Elite are, are reasonable. They're not, like, uh, amazing, incredible, but they're um, a reasonable. This 201 is pretty solid at 347, though. Uh, and then down here, the Peloton bike, you can buy it from Peloton directly or from Amazon. Uh, right now, I would say the better deal, if you're not time sensitive, is from Peloton because you get all that stuff in that bundle there for the same price versus if you buy it from Amazon, you just get the bike uh, and not the other things. However, Amazon can basically deliver it to you tomorrow, like a free shipping overnight tomorrow. So if you want it immediately, immediate gratification, go the Amazon route. Uh, the Stages bike at 700 bucks off, 1799. That's the best price we've ever seen. Very, very solid deal for that. Very, very solid bike. Like it's a beast of a bike. Um, and so that's one of the smart bikes that's on sale. Uh, then you've got the Flux 2 trainer. I when it's not a great trainer. Um, Tax Neo 2T though at $1,120. That's a decent deal. But again, the same as what we've seen across the board for a while. Uh, and then going on down here, the kicker bike on the US side, this is probably the best deal on this entire page. Uh, $19.99, the kicker bike price just got raised to four grand for the brand new model, which only adds basically just Wi Fi. Like that's, there's some minor internal tweaks and stuff, and a lot of those internal tweaks were added to the Kicker V1 bikes as they were building them over the last three years. And so this is a fantastic deal. Uh, and if this deal pops up on the European side this low, I'll be taking advantage of it. Uh, right now it's 2,500 on the European side, which I mean, it's so-so, but it's not as good as this deal here. Uh, Kicker Core for 699. However, you can get the, go down a little more, the Kicker V5 uh, for 799. And I would probably do that to be honest um, for you know 100 bucks more to get that uh, there is no built-in Wi-Fi of the kicker v6 that came out this past summer but again you're spending 500 bucks more at that point uh, to get the v6 model and so I would skip the Wi-Fi uh, as nice as that is and as cool as that is long term I just don't think it's super super important today anyways uh, going to non indoor cycling gear Fly 6 has their brand new uh, Fly 12 Sport on sale. They have a bundle, they have a non-bundle version. Lots of things, about 25% off across the board there. Uh, Favero Asioma has, or sorry, Favero has their Bulduo and their Uno single power meter pedals for uh, 200 bucks off on the US side. And it's a little bit less for a single for the, you know, obviously because it's only one pedal, uh, but very, very solid pedal that I use in testing all the time. Uh, the Edge 1040 Solar though, has been about 50 bucks off here and there. So, Keep an eye on that. That's brand new this past summer. I do use that quite a bit. It's sitting on the bike right there. Uh, the Garmin's Varia camera is 349 and the Varia Raider at 149. Uh, going on down here, Peak Design cases. These are like between 10 and 30% off depending on what accessory you're choosing. This is what I use. It's on my phone right there. Uh, these are my standard, my, both my wife and I use these. Uh, we use them with the bikes because we can just snap them in. Anyways, going down to action cameras and drones. Uh, so DJI has their Action 2 units at 359 I don't recommend these ones. Their Action 3 is a far better camera. If I were you, I would just buy the Action 3. The Action 2 overheats horrifically. Uh, it makes GoPro's overheating stuff look like just child's play uh, with how bad the Action 2 overheats, whereas the Action 3 doesn't overheat at all. Like, it's almost impossible to overheat. I'm sure you can, but I haven't been able to easily overheat that unit, um, so I wouldn't bother with that. The DJI FPV drone, though, is the, the bigger one. Uh, is 300 bucks off for the combo, so down to 86 to 899. Uh, Avada, I love the Avada drone. I don't know where it is, but um, if you need more speed, uh, the bigger FPV one uh, can get you there. Uh, they handle the wind the same, by the way. If you've seen my wind tests, uh, this, the Avada can handle that just fine. But uh, if you need the bigger speed for some sort of production or something like that, then go with the bigger one. Otherwise, I would probably go Avada in almost every scenario. Uh, GoPro Hero 11. There's a couple of versions that are on sale here. The most important thing to know on all these sales is you don't have to do the subscription. So this is basically just buying it as is uh, without the subscriptions. That may be notable for some folks. Uh, the Crater Bundle, which includes the Volta battery grip, uh, this is 150 bucks off down to one, or sorry, to 549, I wish it was one something or other. Uh, the Hero 11 Black down to 399, this is just the camera itself plus the battery in it. Uh, and then the accessory bundle for 449. So you're basically paying uh, an extra 50 bucks, you get an extra battery, you get the head thing, the handle thing, and stuff like that. It's If you're gonna buy those things, that's great. If you're not, then I would probably just buy extra batteries if it was me, but uh, to each their own. And Skydio has all of their Skydio 2 Plus things for 200 bucks off. So 
Uh, no matter which bundle you buy, it's 200 bucks off, which is solid. Going on down to like some sport and fitness stuff. And this will seem odd at first, but if you're into indoor cycling, you know the apps like Zwift and Ruby and RGT and Full Gas, et cetera. All those apps run on Apple TV. It's how I run all my Zwifting. Almost like 95% of my Zwifting is on uh, Apple TV. And the last year's version is down to 79 bucks. The brand new version came out. I've got it sitting right there as well. Uh, but most of the time I'm using the older versions because the graphics is the same for these apps because these apps haven't taken advantage of it yet. So again, for 79 bucks, that's a super solid deal. Uh, and then also the remote case that I use so that you don't drop that stupid remote all the time off your bike that has a little like um, lanyard grip on it. So you can hook it on your bike uh, is six bucks. It's, I mean, it's not much, you're saving six bucks, but hey, that's a solid deal. Uh, core body temperature sensors used by virtually all of the pro cycling teams out there uh, at 20% off. Garmin InReach Mini 2 is 75 bucks off. I use this a ton over the summer on some pretty epic journeys. Uh, so good to see this on sale. Peloton Row, uh, again, if you're gonna buy that, it just came out a week and a half ago, like just started shipping, uh, and it's already on sale for 300 bucks off. Uh, Theragun has all their stuff off of recovery. My wife uses the Theragun Elite uh, quite a bit uh, after her workouts, and so 299, 100 bucks off. And then we get ourselves into the Euro deals. But we do first have the DCR, like my, like, Geeky things have nothing to do with sports tech. My favorite kind of things, we'll talk about those first. So I'm just gonna skip down to that section real quick here. This is the random gadget list. This is not all sports tech. In fact, a lot of it's not sports tech. It's just kind of fun stuff. This MacBook Pro, this is the exact model that I use for editing all of my videos. Is it 20% uh, off, $15.99? Uh, I originally bought the M1 Max, uh, but then I realized it was just way overkill, both the size that I bought as well as uh, the specs for what I needed. And I edit, you know, like, four concurrent uh, 4K stream videos all the time for this channel. I have no problems with this, this unit here. Uh, so that's the exact model there. We use Google Nest cams all over the place in the studio. There's one right there. They're pretty much everywhere. Um, in fact, there's one monitoring the door that just opened up down there. So those are you know down to 30% off. So $69, very, very solid. Uh, and then the, the pizza, I got my Friday pizza shirt on, right? So in this case, this is down to uh, 70 bucks off or 279. Uh, and then the hard drives. I use these Samsung T7 hard drives uh, for everything. I've got all the colors of the rainbow there. Uh, and then this is the SD card that I use. The micro SD variant of this, the uh, Extreme, isn't yet on sale meaningfully, but that's what I use in all of my action cams and drones. Uh, so those are on sale. Now, finally, the European deals. Uh, now, keep in mind, I've said earlier with map pricing, the European deals are kind of like just chasing bumblebees. Uh, they're all over the place quite a bit. These change a lot. I've tried to take a first swing at this, uh, but there are so many deals out there. And also, Europeans, again, I live in Europe, we've got deals all year round versus the American side, the deals are only when it's authorized. Uh, Favera Osceoma deal, 120 euros off is very solid. Uh, there's only, they're only on sale once a year. So if you want those pedals, then go for them. Fitbit Inspire 3, again, brand new, just out, solid deal. This Edge 530 deal is by far the best deal, I think, in the European side at 188. Uh, it's a very, very solid deal. Uh, the Epix Gen 2 at 200 bucks off, a non-Sapphire, but hey, the Sapphire edition there is only like 70 bucks off. So, so. Uh, but the Phoenix 6 Series, uh, also an equally amazing price at 368 uh, on the European side as well as the uh, American side. And then you see roughly 100 bucks off the Phoenix 7 Series. Again, it's kind of like scattered pricing. So you might find it a little better in some places, a little worse in other places. And then as I said earlier, you still have like the Uncle Amazon factor that this could just be a random incredible deal that pops up here and there for a couple hours. That's why you always wanna, if you're not following on Twitter, up in the corner there, I'm publishing those deals all day long as soon as those happen. Uh, a very strong deal on the Index S2 weight scale, the Wi-Fi scale that integrates with the Garmin ecosystem. If you're not on Garmin, don't buy this scale, uh, buy just a cheap scale. But if you're on Garmin platform, and you want your weight to push down automatically to uh, all of those different apps and or all the different uh, devices, then the Index 2 scale will do that. InSync 2 down to 230, that's a very solid deal uh, for the series. Again, starting off at that point, and then if you had Solar, it's a bit more. I think the Solar is like 260 or 280. Uh, but this Sunto 5 Peak deal at 174 is really, really solid for a, a multi-sport watch uh, in that price point. Again, you're not gonna find many options there. Uh, and then the kicker bike that I mentioned earlier, uh, that's at 200 or 2,500 bucks, so-so deal. Uh, I think the US deal is much better, uh, but at least Wahoo did go ahead and offer the V5 uh, kicker at 799. So that's a uh, very solid deal there. And there's two watt bike deals as well. 
uh, for about, you know, between 250 and 500 pounds off, depending on uh, which bike you want. So there you go, a complete list of all of the deals right now. But again, these will change all the time throughout the day. So definitely go ahead and check out that deals page up in the corner there. That's where you want to be. And my Twitter account, as long as Twitter doesn't doesn't like crash today or go away permanently today, then uh, I keep on publishing those deals for not just Black Friday, but also Cyber Monday as well. With that, have a good one.